Okay, let's take a look at how to personalize the Toro University of California blueprint for the spring 2019 semester. As you know, each semester we take feedback from faculty through their Canvas champions in each of the programs and colleges to make revisions to both the layout and the content of the blueprint. So let's take a look at the changes that we've made to the spring 2019 blueprint and the specific things that you will need to update in that blueprint. So here we are in the blueprint and as you can see right on the front page here we've got some instructions for you and you'll notice that each of the areas that you need to update are indicated in red so there's going to be three of them in total so as you look at it you can see right on the front page it asks you to provide a little bit more of a welcome to your students other than just say welcome to the course in fact you may even personalize the course name here if you'd like and um, once you've done that you want to remove the instructions in red. Now, as always, these are pages, so what you want to do to edit them is to click on the edit button here over on the right hand side, and that will allow you to be able to go in and add your own information here, as well as delete that instruction in red. Now, unlike previous versions of the blueprint, there is nothing in the start here area that you need to update. So in the last semester, there was some information in the start here option that you needed to do. In this particular version of the template, or this particular version of the blueprint, there's nothing in the start here area that you need. So the second area that you want to look at is this syllabus area. So when I click on this, you'll see that there's several items here and um, the first is that you'd want to add your course description up here then it asks you to add your course objectives here if you want to have an introductory video to the course and about the course this is where you would put it now if you decide not to have a video there what I'd recommend is not only deleting the instruction in red but also the instruction for the students that's in black so that line that says watch the course introductory video and then you want to upload and link your syllabus right there and similar to the home page the way in which you would do this is you go over here to the right hand side and click on the edit button going back to the home page the third and final area that you have to update in this particular blueprint is the instructor item so when you click on the instructor item you'll see that there's a um, placeholder picture that's here so it recommends that you put your own picture there and then you delete that instruction obviously you're going to want to fill out your name your email address as well as your office location and your telephone number if you do maintain specific office hours you should list them here if you have specific hours where you're available through some synchronous tool uh, what I would do is I would list those dates and times here, or days and times here. As well, I would actually say what tool you use. So online using Zoom, and I would put a link to your Zoom room there if that's how you do it. Or online using Skype, and then put in your Skype address there so that, that way students know how to contact you. So as you can see, this is mainly set up if you were teaching a course by yourself or maybe with one or two other people however if this is a larger team taught course what you might want to do is get rid of all of this information here and then simply just provide a link to the your faculty profile either on your departmental or college website or the one that is in the tu.edu faculty directory. So either of those options I think are good. The other way in which you could do it is you can actually create individual pages for each instructor and just have them listed here and then have a link to the page. So you could have the person's name there and it links to another page in Canvas that you've created about that particular person. As with the other two, the way in which you want to edit this would be to click on the edit button up here and it will allow you to go in and to make those changes, those revisions. So that's been a quick look at how to personalize the spring 2019 Toro University blueprint. 
The three areas that I mentioned in the video, I will also include beneath this video in the description so you can find them there as well.